Beginning May 1st, Stage 1 contemplates a continued prohibition on gatherings of more than 10 people, as well as the continued quarantine of all people entering Maine for a period of 14 days. All businesses that have been open may remain open. At-risk people should stay home whenever possible. In addition, if employees are able to work from home, they should continue to do so. This includes State of Maine employees. Professional services, such as legal services, should continue to be done remotely. Construction firms should deploy additional personal protective equipment and other safety measures. Openings that are permitted per checklist standards are drive-in theaters, health care from Maine licensed providers with a recommendation that they prioritize care for patients with time-sensitive conditions, assure the safety of patients, staff, and communities, manage the use of essential resources such as personal protective equipment and testing supplies, and pace reopening services to the level of community COVID activity, maintaining capacity in our hospitals for a potential outbreak. Outdoor recreation, golf courses and disc golf courses, guided outdoor activities such as hunting and fishing, guided boating, five or fewer customers, marinas, some 30 state parks and historic sites, but coastal sites will remain closed, state-owned public land trails. Personal services include barbershops and hair salons, dog grooming. Religious services are limited to drive-in or stay in your vehicle church services. Retail and commercial, auto dealerships, and car washes. Stage two begins June 1st and contemplates a continued prohibition on gatherings of more than 50 people and the 14-day quarantine on people entering Maine. All businesses that have been open may remain open. At-risk people should stay home whenever possible. Employees in legal and professional fields may return to their offices, including state employees as needed. Hospitality openings will include restaurants, lodging, which is open to Maine residents. Outdoor recreation, campgrounds and RV parks, open to Maine residents. Day camps for Maine children, coastal state parks with some services. Personal fitness, such as an exercise, fitness, or gym, nail technicians, and retail businesses will all be open. Stage 3, which begins in July and August, maintains the prohibition on gatherings of more than 50 people and the 14-day quarantine on people entering Maine. All businesses that have been open may remain open. Again, at-risk people should stay home whenever possible. Employees in legal and professional fields may return to offices, including state employees, as needed. Stage four is to be determined. This is when all, we're hoping all businesses will be open and operating with safety modifications. Essential business operation definitions as of April 3rd. Retail includes grocery, household goods, convenience stores and gas stations, hardware stores and home repair, automobile repair, bicycle repair, pharmacy and other medical supply stores, medical marijuana dispensaries and caregivers, post offices and shipping outlets, office supplies, electronics and communications, banks and credit unions, laundromats and dry cleaning, animal feed and pet store supplies, truck delivery and distribution of goods, hotel and commercial lodging, garden stores and greenhouses, restaurants and bars, curbside pickup only, takeout and delivery only, fishing supply and bait shops, rental centers, appliances only, and federal firearm licenses. Other essential businesses include boat builders, real estate activities, food processing and agriculture, fishing and aquaculture, industrial manufacturing, construction and maintenance, and property management trash collection and transfer stations, along with redemption centers, forest products, psychiatric and long-term care facilities, group homes and residential treatment, biomedical, life science, 
behavioral health, health care, dental care, and long-term services, and supports providers and organizations. Child care providers, veterinarian clinics and animal welfare, public transportation, legal, business, professional, environmental permitting, and insurance services. All utilities such as electricity, water, wastewater, and telecommunications. Heating fuel, maintenance and delivery. School employees and child nutrition programs. Food banks and food pantries. Fully automated car washes, plumbers and electricians. Non-essential businesses and operations include shopping malls, fitness and exercise gyms, spas, barbershops, hair salons, tattoo and piercing parlors, massage facilities, nail technicians, cosmetologists and estheticians, electrolysis services, laser hair removal services and similar personal care and treatment facilities, dog grooming, auto dealerships, golf courses, disc golf courses, pool construction and maintenance, as well as furniture and mattress stores.